Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to The Real United States. I'm your host, Paul Campbell. Behind the camera, as always, is my wife and our camera operator, Beverly Campbell. And we're here in downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan for the 2014 Art Prize. Probably the largest art festival in the United States, certainly the largest that is judged by the general public. Now, there are also opportunities for judging by a panel here. But this is a huge, huge venue that happens here. This is the sixth annual art prize here in Grand Rapids. And uh, it's a beautiful sunny day. We've gotten very fortunate on this. This venue is spread over 176, I believe it is, separate facilities, separate venues. And there are over 1,500 separate works of art that are being exhibited here and competing for cash prizes. And uh, this has grown and grown over the last six years. And this year, the cash prizes collectively total in excess of half a million U.S. dollars. So this is a very big deal. Probably half a million people or so are going to come and visit this event. It's a 19-day event that starts in late September and runs into October every year. And massive crowds here. I'm standing in front of the Grand Rapids Art Museum, which is really the epicenter for Art Prize. Now, somewheres in here, I'm told, are the 20... 12 and 2013 winners. We're hoping that we're going to get footage of those. Difficult to say because there are so many people here. I don't know how much we're going to be able to get into and get able to see, but we're going to try and get you a few of the highlights of the 2014 Art Prize here in Grand Rapids. So come along and join us for some of the things there are to see. Okay, folks, this is, we've gotten down to the hub on Shelton Street here in Grand Rapids, and we are now in front of the 2013 winner of Art Prize. This is a depiction of Sleeping Bear Dunes National Seashore, and this is entirely done in fabric. The artist is a Michigan State grad in uh, fabric and fabric design, I understand. And this is a beautiful, colorful work, and it's, it's amazing to believe that this is entirely made out of fabric. This isn't painted or dyed or anything. It is made out of individual pieces of colored fabric which are then framed and put in sequence and you can see it fills up this entire wall now we're shooting in very cramped quarters so it's difficult to really take this all in sleeping bear dunes of course is a large national park here on the western shore here in the lower peninsula of the state of michigan so this is a michigan artist and this of course spoke to her very near and dear and it is just a breathtaking piece of work it is entirely made of fabric. I can't believe it. When you look at it from, from more than a few feet away, it looks like a painting. But it is, in fact, stitched together. Okay, now here we have the 2012 Grand Rapids Art Prize winner. This is actually a work entirely in charcoal. I'm relatively certain that's a canvas. It may be a paper substrate, but you can see that this is actually about five pieces that have been, it's one drawing, one etching, if you will, in charcoal that's in multiple pieces because of its enormous size that covers, again, this entire wall. And enormous complexity in this piece. Even though it's a charcoal work, you can see that it's just a really complex work. There, there's some unusual imagery in it, like the building coming up on top of this gorilla's head and things of all kinds of different scales and a lot of imagery, I think, that it would, it would take quite a, a while to, to mentally process. But it is a very impressive work of art. And we're going to try and get as much of this. Uh, of course, the, you know, we, we're, we're shooting without permits, and this is something that everybody's entitled to come do. So we're trying to work around the crowds. So just kind of bear with us here, folks, as we try and get some shots of this. And Bev, I think you can move on up a little bit if you can, if you can take it all in. I don't know on your Zoom there. But clearly things have been done with some very unusual scales with uh, some of the larger animals showing up as smaller creatures in this. It's a, it's a very interesting piece. But it is quite breathtaking. 
I'm sure the artists have had something in mind when they created this. Why there's a tree coming out of this elephant's head, I don't know what the imagery is supposed to mean. I'm not an art critic or an art expert by any stretch of the imagination. So one of the more interesting mediums that Bev and I discovered down here in Grand Rapids at the 2014 Art Prize is this particular one, which is cut out of a variety of paper-like materials. This is cut out of Tyvek, some of it's out of sailcloth, and some of it's cut from mylar. And it fills this whole little vestibule here and is displayed in many of the windows down the street here. It's actually collectively a, a rather giant work of art, and that's one of the things I'm noticing about this art festival is that some of the works are really large. They cover a large expanse of area. But clearly it took the, the artist an enormous amount of time and patience and meticulous work to cut this all out. So we're gonna step inside here and try and get some of what they've done. And I don't know if the camera can do it justice. nice things about having this displayed by a window is it shows the, the pattern of the shadows. But I mean just an enormous amount of, of cutting. Degrees to uh, produce this. Now this is a, is a sail above us here and then we have Tyvek which is now Tyvek is actually a name brand of a, a house wrap. It's a building construction material that's used for weatherproofing a house before you put the siding over. So it's kind of a, an unusual medium to be working in. But you can see just huge elaborate amount of cutting. I'm not quite certain how they went about doing this. Looks very much like they did this with a, a small razor knife. And it, it gives you some idea of the the scale of this thing, it's probably six or seven feet wide, maybe more, and probably 12 feet tall, and there's multiple panels hanging all around the room. And we're gonna, again, it's very difficult to show this without a special uh, lens, a fisheye lens. Again, a sail, a very interesting medium to work in. And up top, right where Beverly's pointing here now, if we can get it. Is the mylar that the artist has worked in as well. Another interesting medium to work in. And probably the only thing that can be qualified as color in this entire work it's it's all very white you can see the pattern in the in the tie back here in the house wrap this is a fiber material that's all put together sort of like paper but much stronger has a lot more tear resistance because of the fact that it's a building material and not a, a printing medium normally we're gonna step outside and i'm sorry about the traffic noise but again we're right on the the side of the street here and uh, as I was saying that this work you know they put it in a window so it can cast the shadows and it stretches down the street in all the adjacent windows and here we have more of a leafy pattern versus the geometric patterns that the artist was using before and a sort of a fish scale pattern. It says that's sort of a serpent or a fish feel kind of about it. Again, I don't really know. I'm, I'm not a, a, an art expert, but, and it just keeps going on down through these windows of these buildings here. Certainly very interesting medium to work in. And just one of the, like I say, 1,500, more than 1,500 exhibits that is spread around 
for miles through the Grand, greater Grand Rapids area. I had mentioned that there's like 176 venues where art is being displayed, and it's in all kinds of unusual places. This isn't just in museums or in shops, or like in the hub in a studio, but it's in businesses and public facilities, including here, which I thought was kind of unusual. But it's, uh, they're participating in exhibiting some of the art that's, that's here at Art Prize 2014. And it's in the window. Um, I had mentioned earlier that this is a art festival where the visitors register and then vote on the particular artwork that they find to be the best. So this is largely a public voted prize for the winners. So we're gonna try and walk down here and we're gonna show you in the window some of the few pieces of art that are here at the Department of Corrections. So come on down and join us. Now obviously we're gonna pick up a little glint from the window and I'm sorry about that folks, there's really nothing we can do about this. This is fiber on wood. The title is Shady Places. This is by Gemma Tice, a Grand Rapids, Michigan, and local artist. Again, this is on display here at the Michigan Department of Corrections in Kent County. Next piece we're going to have here is a watercolor. This is a watercolor on canvas from Comstock Park. That's a suburb, so to speak, of Grand Rapids. It's a little bit north of here called Welcome to My World. Charlotte Ambrose. This is acrylic, is the medium. This is a painting. The Unkept Promise. Artist simply says Fernando. The last name has been blanked out. Artist is from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Now, as I understand it, there are artists represented here from 43 states, and I forget exactly how many countries are represented here at Art Prize this year. Uh, I'll try and, and put it down here on the screen because I've actually lost my notes. But there's, it's not just a United States uh, competition. There are people competing here from many, many different countries around the world, which I think is, is kind of cool. This is not a damaged window. This is actually one of the art pieces here at Art Prize 2014. It's a piece called Shattered by Caitlin Brewer. I'll try to include a link about that down in the description below. And it covers several of these areas in front of the windows right here. It, it's kind of an interesting piece of art. I, I don't know what it actually, you know, it says, but it is an interesting thing conceptually. And you can see that there's several panes of the window here that have this fracture pattern in them. And I have some additional information about that that I will try to include either here on screen or below. Just another one of the unusual mediums that artists are working in at this year's Art Prize. Okay, folks, we got a really special opportunity to here meet with one of the artists. This is Caitlin Brewer, the artist of Shattered. Caitlin, I, I hate to catch you off guard like this. I'm, oh, Paul, Cam I'm Paul Campbell. I'm uh, a video blogger on YouTube oh, uh, with the, the Real United States. And uh, well, there's my wife's card. Oh, that's my card, you. actually. And 
I really admire your work. This is really kind of clever, and I was pointing out to our viewers the different mediums that people are, are using that are non-traditional mediums. Right. Would you like to tell us a little yeah. bit about the, the medium you're using? Of course. Um, so all of this was made with hot glue. Um, it's a very common medium, but it's not something you would see used in this way. Um, so I used the hot glue gun to draw directly onto the glass surface to create these, um, these marks um, and then layer some of the more heavier areas. Um, and also I go back in with a razor blade to kind of clean things up and carve out some of the holes that you see. So that's basically the process with it's, the hot glue. It's very stunning and it looks... I'm looking at this originally going, wow, there's a, oh no, that's actually part of the work of art. Yeah. Did you have a, a conceptual inspiration for this? Um, well, it kind of fits into the whole theme of discomfort zones going on at the gram right now. Okay. Um, catches you off guard, puts you out of just kind of your, like, you know, everyday going about. Um, I have one that is at the entrance of the museum that is that, totally yeah. unlabeled. So there's kind of a question of, is this art? Is this not? <laughs> um, so there's kind of, there's a line between truth and fiction, I think, with this work that's sure. kind of, that plays around and makes it very in engaging, hopefully. Well, it does. It, it certainly caught my attention out there. And then when I got in here, I was delighted to see there was more of it. Caitlin, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure meeting pleasure. you. Thank and you. I wish you all the best. I hope you win. Thank you. Very kind. You certainly should. So, as you can see, we're, we're in line here, trying to get into this particular venue at the Grand Rapids Art Museum. This, as uh, the artless, artist, uh, Caitlin Brewer, said that the theme on this is the discomfort zone. Um, certainly, therefore, it's going to be about art that's supposed to kind of shock you or catch you off guard or give you some kind of a moment of pause. So. It's going to be a while, folks. We'll get back with you when we get into the venue. Here we've got some interesting three-dimensional art. Uh, they're masks, facial representations. You might even be, consider that to be a death mask. Um, all unique in their own right, definitely part of the discomfort zone. Um, this particular one struck me. Uh, this is written in, in cursive and in Spanish to boot. This actually says the silence of the past. And you can see on this particular one that the eyes are closed on the, the artwork. I believe these are made out of clay or terracotta and then painted after the fact. An interesting one here. Soy quien soy. I am who I am. <laughs> Libertad, justicia, amor y fe. Liberty, justice, love, and faith. Kind of an interesting one. And actually, I'm just trying to show off that I, I can read and write a little Spanish, so. You can see this entire room of this venue is displaying these sorts of three-dimensional art, these face masks. Some of them are nice, some of them are quite lovely. Others are a little on the creepy side, certainly in keeping with the idea, the theme of the discomfort zone.
This was one of the creepy ones. I'm pretty sure that says the disfigured shoe. <coughs> Maybe I'm missing something because it's in the feminine rather than masculine. But uh, yeah, that's a little creepy. Can you take this all in? <coughs> now, Bev and I have been to a lot of art museums and seen a lot of different forms of art, but I'm, I'm not entirely certain that I've ever seen anything quite like this. This is a large inflated fabric bag of air that the artist has then painted the outside of it with what he wanted to display. And again, it's a little creepy, but it is what it is. And check this out. It is a colossal self-portrait on a cold day, okay? Benjamin Entner. Fortunately, they put his registration number in a convenient place so I can actually still show this on YouTube. But it is a ginormous in frame with covered with fabric and then decorated on the outside. Kind of interesting. Eric Souther, projecting Buddha. Ah, uh, geez, folks, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's intriguing. I, I'm not, <coughs> I don't know what it means, but it's, it's in, in conceptually intriguing. One of the things that I didn't happen to mention up to this point was the fact that all of these venues, including entrance to the museum, all of this is free to the public. So I'd like to thank you for joining us here in the real United States in downtown Grand Rapids at the 2014 Art Prize. Hope you've enjoyed the tour. Obviously, we could only show you a little tiny scrape of what there is here. It just covers such a huge area, so many venues. I had expected to see actually more paintings and drawings. We just did not have time to get to all that. You could spend certainly the entire 19 days and not see everything there is to see here at Art Prize. But I'd like to thank you again for joining us here. We hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll pick subscribe and join us for future episodes if you haven't already, of course. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I love hearing from all of you. I try to get back to everyone as soon as I possibly can. And as always, thank you for watching.